How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. It is time for an Update 13 Clues video. Today's video we're going to be talking about everything we know about Update 13, which is releasing next week, along with the live stream next week as well, revealing all the info about it. And also looking at the clues that we've been given about Update 13 today. Today is Torben Tuesday and, and unlike last month we've actually been given a proper Torben Tuesday this month and we're going to be looking through it, looking at all the clues on screen and trying to figure out what's going to be in update 13. Now I'll say straight away in this image in particular there's actually quite a lot to look at and I think there's quite a few things that I've actually figured out as well. I could be wrong with all of them, I could be right with all of them, we don't know but that's what we're doing in today's video talking all about update 13. To be honest, I think we should get straight into it and look straight at the Update 13 Torben Tuesday clues image and see what there is inside of it and I'll explain what I think about it. Here is the image. It's just like all the other ones. I'm glad to finally have one of these to look at. If you want to look at this image yourself, it'll be in the description. But let's have a look at this image, shall we? So we've got the usual people. We've got a Retro Crystal, we've got Torben there, and then we've got the whiteboard with all the, the words and stuff on but there's several things i want to go over i want to go over the toy cars which are placed around the photo i want to go over the calculator that he has on the screen the picture of a covered car that's on the screen and then some of the stuff that's on the whiteboard i'm just going to start with the more exciting stuff if we look at torben's right hand monitor we'll see here is the google calculator up or i think that's actually the bing calculator is it i'm not sure and in the calculator he's put zero plus one now that's a very random thing to put however there is a car called the ital design zero uno or zero uno which is zero one this is an italian car made by a italian company i don't know how to pronounce ital design guiguaro something like that anyway it's an italian car and its name is zero uno which is zero one which is exactly what is on his calculator now you're probably thinking that's a little bit of a stretch to think that we're getting this it's quite a hypercar type thing it's not got a massive amount of horsepower it's about 610 i think but if you look at it, it does look like a beast. And this is the only thing that I could personally think of that would relate to zero and one. Now we'll come back to that in a bit because we have more evidence that this could be what this zero one calculator is talking about. If we have a look on the whiteboard, there's lots of different words. There's about nine words in total at the top, all kind of scattered about. On the right hand side, we can see pen, rigatoni, ravioli, tortellini, and fusilli. I think I pronounced all those right. And all of those are types of pasta. And we all know that the Italians love pasta. I don't know why I did that. But the fact that they've got five different pasta names on the screen, it could possibly hint at something Italian. And this Ital Design Zero Uno is Italian. Now, on the left hand side, we have another four words, only some of them that I can read. One of them is Bellini, which is a cocktail. And then one of them is Citerio, which is a salami, an Italian salami. So to put it short, there's quite a lot of words on this whiteboard that are Italian type dishes slash food and stuff like that. So at the moment, it's seeming quite Italian, which would add up to the fact that this zero plus one does mean the Italian supercar, Ital Design Zero Uno. Now let's have a look at his monitor again. Um, we can see this kind of chart of stuff here. I'm not really sure what that is. We can't we can't tell. It's too blurry. Um, but there's the calculator, and then below that there's an image. Now I can imagine lots of people are probably thinking, whatever is under that car cover there, we are getting. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, you're wrong because I've done quite a lot of looking around. I've done some actual v image editing, and I managed to find this image on Google, and here it is. This is a screenshot of a part of an episode of the TV series Friends, specifically the episode called The One with Joey's Porsche. Now, Friends isn't really a car show, so I think he's put this screenshot in for a reason. This episode was about Joey's Porsche and... It must be something to do with Porsche. Now, there's obviously all the possibility that he's winding us up and he's just thrown that image in for a little distraction, but this image is directly related to or something to do with Porsche because there isn't actually a car under that car cover. It was kind of a joke within the show. There's just a bunch of boxes under there. But the whole point of that image 
could be to tell us the word Porsche. Now, if we have a look on the screen as well, as I mentioned at the beginning, there are some toy cars scattered about on the screen. There's one on the monitor, there's one below his monitor, and there's one behind the Xbox. Now, the reason I think that these are purposely placed is one, how on earth can you get a car to balance on a monitor like that without falling off every time you bang your knee on the desk? And two, why would you have a random toy car scattered behind the Xbox that you can't really see anyway? Now the car that's under Torben's monitor, the blue one, to me it looks like the Porsche 917K, which I think we already have in the game, the Porsche 917. And the shape of the other two, they really just look like Porsches to me. To be honest, the one on the monitor does look like an Alpine as well, one of the older Alpines. So could we be getting a new Alpine in the update or some new Porsches? We're not too sure, but to put it short, so far from this image, what we've gathered is it? it's very Italian. There's lots of Italian hints on there. There is a Porsche photo, something hinting at Porsche down at the bottom. And there's also a bit hinting at an Italian hypercar slash supercar coming to the game as well. Now, for anyone who doesn't know, Porsche isn't Italian, Porsche is German, so the Porsche doesn't fit in with the Italian theme, but that photo down at the bottom right can't really mean anything apart from Porsche, other than Porsche is completely unrelated to everything else. And the other thing that suits the Porsche kind of theme is the fact that there's some Porsche cars laying around, as I said, so I don't know. We're looking at some Porsches as possibly some Italian cars in this update, in my opinion. Let's talk about some other things that are listed on the whiteboard as well, and then we'll get to the numbers that are on the whiteboard. And there's two graphs on the whiteboard. One of them is kind of all over the place and the opposite to the other one. And one of them's wrong and one of them's right. I don't really know what this could mean, apart from maybe they're trying to rebalance something. Maybe they're rebalancing the overpowered A-class cars, B-class cars, S2-class cars, like the Bone Shaker, for example. Maybe they're doing a bit of rebalancing. We do know that they're rebalancing the ranked team adventure, um, the ranked leagues, whatever you call them. I don't do it myself, but the leagues. They're rebalancing those. Maybe that's what hinting, this is hinting towards. But I think there's a bit of rebalancing or reversal coming with something, according to those graphs, which is good to see. Now, the numbers on the screen. This is what I've been looking at the most. I've tried converting the numbers into letters, um, just kind of like on maybe the 19th letter of the alphabet, then the 18th letter of the alphabet. And I can't, so far, I can't find any way that these numbers would relate to words. One possibility is if you put this exact number phrase in Google, 19 minus 18 minus 70 minus 51 minus 66, you'll get minus 186. And then there's a number on the right hand side that's 1110. If you take 1110 and minus 186, you'll get 924. 924 doesn't mean much apart from maybe the Porsche 924. And at the bottom, as I said, we had the kind of Porsche related image. So maybe the Porsche 924 is returning. I don't know. That's a massive stretch. I can't really think of anything else that these numbers would mean. There's another thing that I did think, though. The numbers are 19, 18, 70, 51, and 66. Could this mean 2019, 2018, 1970, 1951, 1966? Could these be the years that each new car we're getting this month was released? For example, this would mean in this next upcoming update, we're getting a car that's a 2019 car, we're getting a 2018 car, and we're getting a 1970, a 1951, and a 1966 car, if that makes sense. If that's what it means, then could be possible. It's also a possibility that on the whiteboard, this 1110 is binary, which is binary for 14. I don't really know what 14 could mean. I'm not gonna make any guesses. And then the only things left on the board really are something on the left hand side, which are kind of drawings. There's a picture of a chicken, which says rocket chicken, I think, or roast chicken or rooster chicken. It says one of those. The image is too blurry to tell. And the chicken's saying ciao, which is Italian. So another Italian reference. And then at the bottom, we've got that weird paperclip thing from Windows in the old days. So I don't really know what any of that could to do with. There is one Italian reference in there, but other than that, not much. But from this image, I'm kind of guessing that something very Italian is going to happen. Maybe we're going to get a new Lamborghini. Maybe we're going to get a new Porsche or two. Um, or maybe we'll get that Ital Design Zero Uno. That'll be pretty interesting as well. There's not a massive amount that's actually confirmed from all this information in this picture, but there's a lot to kind of think about. Lots of things Porsche related, Lamborghini related, uh, sorry, Italian related and stuff like that. So take this 
and tell me what you think of it. What do you think that all these numbers and things could combine together and mean? I've told you what I think in this video so far. So yeah, it's going to be pretty interesting. So I've just checked and just a couple of things that I wrote down from last month's live stream that are confirmed about this month's, which is just next week. And um, one of them, we may be getting two showcase remixes. I think they promise that every month there'll be at least two new shake, not new showcase remixes, but showcase remixes. So we may see two showcase remixes come next week as well. And the other thing that they're doing is, as I mentioned earlier, rebalancing the leagues in Team Adventure. And to put it short, the chances are no matter what league you are in Ranked Team Adventure, you're probably going to be boosted up quite a few leagues because they want to bring the average to about 10 or 11 um, rank 10 or 11 that means so that's something to look forward to you may be boosted up a couple of leagues next week my personal predictions for this update i think we may have a chance of seeing the Ital design and zero uno come to the game we may see a cup uh, maybe a new porsche maybe a new just something italian related anyway a bit of rebalancing with some stuff and then obviously the team adventure stuff and the showcase remixes Please do let me know what you think in the comment section below. Have a look at this image for yourself. It's in the description. But mainly, leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more. Oh, World Screen, Fox Rising 4 content. And I'll see you all later.